Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So it is Friday the 4th and we are doing our weekly check-in for the first few days of the month because I do my check-ins on Friday. So we're just going to go ahead and keep going it. So we are going to write in our expenses for the first four days. Most of what we done was just pay most of our bills. So we paid our rent, which was 600. The phone bill, which was 213 because I had to pay the extra for the new phone I had to get. We went ahead and paid student loans and it came out the first, as well as the car payment I put in on the 31st. Those both came out here. So I just wanted to put them on this page here so I knew where they were at. On the first, we got gas and it was $30. So we're using our Sam Marie stickers here. We got all of our colors. So we're gonna write in gas. And this was $30 and this was for my car. This was also on the first. All right, and that was the only transaction we've had in gas so far this week. On Wednesday, we haven't spent any money, so we're gonna go ahead and lay down one of Kate Budget's no spend stickers for that day. There's that. And then Thursday, which was yesterday, was also a no spend. We haven't spent any money in there. So we've completed a sheet, yay! so excited and on friday so we've had a bill clear which was pest control which is 33 dollars and that did clear today so we have that one and I also went and did my weigh-in at Top Shelf Nutrition. It is a nutrition club here where I live at. <laughs> so Top Shelf. Some of y'all had me laugh and read in my com the comments the other day about that. And I spent $8 and I got me a tea. Because I had to run to the bank and a few other things this morning. So I had to get some energy going. All right, so there is that, and I believe that is it. So nothing groceries, the one gas, spending was top shelf, miscellaneous, nothing. So these are the cash envelopes. I bought them from the Budget Mom. Each month I just print out ones that I'm using and i will cut out fold them and this is what i use just because i like having the expense tracker to keep a running balance of our totals on the back so i bought this once and i've used it several times over the past several months now so and i also have these are in her this one was in her free resource library there was three different ones or so and i use this for my gas just because we do not keep this one in cash it is in our account so those are all from the budget mom as y'all can tell, these two are the same. That's because I just used this one from last month because we didn't use it. So I just reused it for this month. But let's go ahead and get started checking in. So we got gas, one transaction of $30. Groceries, we didn't spend anything. So total remaining should be the 630 in groceries all right so we have one two three four 20 40 60 85 20 40 60 86 20 and 30 so 630 for our groceries and i think I might go ahead and pull like 25 out of here and put it into savings because I am doing the shelf timber from Jordan Page on YouTube and Instagram and things. And this month is shelf timber, which means you use what you have at home to try to make meals and have a very limited budget. And you only get about $25 
to get any fresh fruits, veggies, any any small things that can't go over the 25. So I think each week if I don't spend the whole 25, I will put it into savings. So that is my goal. Hopefully we have a good amount of this left over. I will be ex so excited because if we do, I will probably put what's left from the groceries into like either a sinking fund for like a big bulk of meat from somewhere or something like that that way we can kind of get our get a good stock of meat again because we are starting to get low on meats so we will probably do that with what's left over from groceries or whatever we put for savings i'll probably just set it to the side to get a bulk meats or something so i think that's what we'll do I'm really challenging myself to stay under 25. I do know we will have to get diapers and that will probably be the only thing that takes us over 25 out of groceries one week. So hopefully the rest of the time will be good. All right, so we have 6.30 still and we've got three more weeks, three more Fridays that we'll check in for. So $210 is what we had to spend each week, but our goal will only be 25 a week. So let's see if we can manage that. Let's hope. All right, but gas, we keep in our account and now we only have 120 remaining in there. All right, so 120 divided by three weeks. So about $40 each week. All right, so that gives us about $40 each week, which should be good. Um, then we have spending, which is my personal spending, not my husband's. It's just I track myself. And we spent one transaction, which was today, and it was $8. So let's check that off. So only spent eight. And for my personal spending, we started with $50. So that means I have 42 remaining. All right, so spending, we should have 20, 40, one, and two. Fabulous. I've been trying to make sure I don't go anywhere so I don't spend any extra money, but it's okay. All right, so lastly, we have miscellaneous, and this week we still don't have any miscellaneous yet. So miscellaneous, nothing, which means we should still have remaining $50. All right. And then unbudgeted seems that miscellaneous had nothing. Unbudgeted has nothing right now. And no remaining because we do not budget anything for unbudgeted. All right. So we checked in from the first through the fourth, which is a very short week, but it's okay. I like checking in on Fridays. It's just the day. Oh, let me show y'all 50. You can see that 50? Fabulous, right? We are going to go ahead and do our paycheck breakdown in this video because our weekly check-in was pretty short so we're gonna go ahead and do our check-in or our breakdown so James's income this month this pay period was 822 60 myself and other we don't have anything for this week so the total is 82260 all right so this is a new month which means that we will start over so we take our budgeted line here and divide it by how many paychecks will be received throughout this month to figure out how much needs to come into each of our. So we will take our budgeted amount here and divide it by how many pay periods we have this month, which is four. So we're going to fill in how much we need based off of that. So for groceries, we need 160. For Mazda and Rent, both need 150. For the Power and for Allstate, both need $50. All right, for gas, it's only 40. For AT&T, all right, so AT&T is gonna be off this week because I did the math wrong. So it's only getting 35 and I will fix that for the next week because I use the old number and not the new number 
for that one so i will fix that next week charter and water both get twenty dollars for student loans it gets 15. for pest control it needs ten dollars this week spending is 25. miscellaneous we're putting 15 in for the cushion we need twenty dollars or we we left twenty dollars in the account for the cushion for savings, we are leaving the $2 for savings. And sinking funds and debt both get $30, which is really exciting. All right, and that equals our 822 there. So this is our paycheck breakdown, and we do this every week on Fridays. That's just when my husband's paycheck comes in. And at the end of the month, we will total up paycheck one through four and get our totals for our income and total for our expenses down here to make sure our bills that we need covered are covered and then all the extra that we bring in that can go towards spending miscellaneous cushions savings sinking funds debts all we know all those numbers as well so we know how much of our money went towards each one of those categories and we don't have to worry about where anything is went so now we have completed our first weekly check-in from the first through the fourth we got quite a few bills paid. I will have two more paid tomorrow. And then we got our paycheck breakdown done for the first week. We've got our weekly check-in done. We are looking fabulous for the first check-in. Um, never know what's going to happen throughout the month, but hopefully we will be doing good, staying within our goal range of $25 a week. So the rest of that can be put aside for a big grocery, not grocery, a big meat order from somewhere or something along those lines and then we have our transaction log is nice updated i can i write in the colors that i have coordinated with each sticker here just because i am a color person i like bright colors um any pretty colors that you can get like this is what my pencil holder thing that i use looks like i've got so many different colors and the Aaron Condren dual tip markers, the dry erase or wet erase markers, just pens and then highlighters. I love colors. So that is just part of me. It's all right. We haven't had any come out, anything come out of any sinking funds this week. Um, so we don't need to check in for that because it's all the same. But that is everything for this video. So I hope that y'all enjoyed watching our weekly check-in as well as our paycheck breakdown all in one video. And we will be doing our cash envelope stuffing video next. So stay tuned for it as well as a surprise video for this week. I am really excited for it and I hope y'all are too. I've been putting a lot of work into it over the past few days and I am ready to show y'all what I've done. And hopefully y'all enjoy it as much as I do and I can't wait to catch y'all in my next few videos. Bye-bye now.